Karen Abbott's military history book, Liar, Temptress, Soldier, Spy, Four Women Undercover in the Civil War 2014, follows four extraordinary women who risked everything to leave their mark on the Civil War. Nominated for the 2014 Goodreads Choice Award for History and Biography Projects, critics praised it for approaching the Civil War from a new angle. Abbott is the best-selling author of multiple works of non-fiction. Best known for her debut work, Sin in the Second City, Abbott, an ex-journalist, lives in New York City and writes full-time. Liar, temptress, soldier, spy is largely told chronologically. The women's stories weave together to create a detailed picture of the Civil War from new perspectives. As such, the book is accessible both to readers with prior knowledge of the Civil War and new readers looking for a detailed introduction to the period. Abbott chose to write Liar, Temptress, Soldier, Spy to highlight the different roles that women played during the Civil War. The four women have very different reasons for joining the cause, Abbott aims to show how their stories interlink even if they never meet. They each risk everything, families, lives, homes, and friends, to stand up for what they believe in, and Abbott is determined to celebrate them. Although each woman plays a significant role in the Civil War, they are not all on the same side. The four women are Belle Boyd, Emma Edmonds, Rose O'Neill Greenow, and Elizabeth Van Lu. Elizabeth, 17, shoots a soldier in her home. Emma pretends to be Frank Thompson to fight on the front lines. Rose infiltrates the political ranks, and Elizabeth orchestrates her own espionage ring. Abbott explores each of these women as part of the greater narrative, showing how they use their different skill sets to generate change. For example, Belle and Rose use their sexuality to attract men and elicit secrets from them. Emma, on the other hand, does everything she can to hide her gender so that she can fight. Elizabeth pretends to be loyal to the Union side, while Emma openly despises the Yankees. Although their methods differed, these women are all equally effective at what they do. Liar, temptress, soldier, spy asserts that women played a far greater role in the Civil War than they are given credit for. Women, most of who aren't named, undertook much of the spying, and they ran complex networks of safe houses. Many women disguised themselves so they could fight, one couple went as far as enlisting together after their honeymoon. During the Civil War, women developed their own unique methods of communication to transmit messages and keep themselves safe. Abbott describes women hiding messages in their hairstyles, communicating in code by opening and closing blinds, and concealing weapons under their large skirts. These women were skilled spies and made the most of every resource at their disposal. Abbott highlights key moments where women came together and protected each other's identities. For example, Emma meets a dying soldier. She sinks down beside him and holds his hand. At that moment, she discovers the soldier is a woman, she begs Emma to conceal her identity. As Abbott explains, based on the primary source material available, it is impossible to validate the claim, but such incidents are now thought to have been commonplace. Abbott concludes the book by describing how the women's stories end and how their legacies live on. For Rose, the Ladies' Memorial Association of 1888 built a marble cross that still stands today. Emma, who wrote her own journal, went on to sell more than 175,000 copies of her memoir. Belle became a star actor, although her mental health deteriorated. Finally, Elizabeth was appointed to the Custom House, where she became a successful career woman until she fell out of favor. She retired from public life and, unlike the other women, refused to write a memoir. The book highlights how precarious the Civil War was, and how the outcome was never certain. Both sides experienced huge losses and endured horrific sacrifices. By telling the stories of women fighting on both sides, Abbott shows how similar the soldiers and spies were, and how passionately people fought for what they believed in. Abbott does not choose sides or pass comment on the Civil War itself. Instead, she looks at the impact of the conflict on ordinary women, and how it changed their lives forever. Although liar, temptress, soldier, spy focuses primarily on these four women, Abbott sees them as representatives, all the unnamed women who made sacrifices for the war effort, whether they worked on farms, fought on the front lines, or simply lost everything. Abbott hopes that, by remembering Elizabeth, Emma, Rose, and Belle, we will remember the women with the untold stories. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.